what's going on everyone welcome to the channel so today we're gonna go pick up a project vehicle for the channel and hopefully all goes well we're gonna be bringing it home I just hooked up the trailer well the guy hooked it up u-haul trailer good old u-haul first time I've ever actually rented one of their trailers because I don't have a car hauler and anybody I know doesn't have one or is they're not available but anyways we're gonna go pick up my buddy right now because he's coming with for the ride i haven't told him what i'm picking up yet you guys don't know but i know so let's go get him and let's go hit the road and go check out this project vehicle shall we i think you guys are gonna really like it because anyone who's been around the channel knows i really like these vehicles and you may have owned one at some point as well so you might already know what it is but let's get to it shall we all right what's up everyone Hello, got my friend Bob here, and uh, he's my co-pilot for today. And can I just say, if you're ever a co-pilot, be like this man. I show up at his house, he has cookies and a cooler full of drinks for us for the road trip. I didn't even ask him to do this. That's what we got here. Yeah, cookies. Like, yeah. straight up. This this is what a co-pilot does. Yep. Let's see. He brought me root beer. He knows I like root beer. Yep, yep. He brought water. And, like. Straight up. Yeah, say all the good stuff. Hey. Is that your plane up there? Where? That's a bird. Is that a bird? No. Oh, okay. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. You yeah, you him. totally just saw Superman. Anyway, yeah, I think so. So we're about two hours away. Still gotta stop to get gas at some point. Maybe I'll put this in the back. Yeah. Just, yeah, you can keep right coming. Keep coming. Anyways, so he's along for the ride. He still has no idea what we're getting yet. But I think he's gonna enjoy it very much because he also, like I said earlier, everyone has had one of these on this channel at some point. So he's he's a fan of these as well. Ah, I was gonna say your lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was a lawnmower. I'm like, why would I have a car trailer for a lawnmower? <laughs> Anyways, so like I said, we got two more hours, gotta get fuel, and uh, we'll be there. And probably the next clip will be us loading it up. So. We will catch you guys there. I'm gonna have some cookies now. Do you want to pull it out? Yeah, sure. Just pull out? Uh, yeah, there's like a little release lever at the bottom. You'll see it. Got it? Yeah. Now do me a favor. I did it so uh, I did it on the first shot. <laughs> Uh, I checked the one side. Okay. Pretty sure the other side is fine. Yeah, it should just go right in. Okay. Yeah, because it holds it at the bottom. Cool. Basically, yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. Just boop, gone. Alright, so as you guys can see, we're loading up the project truck. And it is indeed a Ford Ranger. It's a 1999 extended cab rear wheel drive XLT with the 3 liter V6 in it. And it came all the way up from North Carolina. The dude drove it up here and blew the motor apparently. Supposedly it has bad, bad head gaskets, but he said it pushed all the oil out of the dipstick. So to me that says either coolant in the block, like in the cylinder walls, and caused so much crankcase pressure that it pushed out the dipstick or there's another issue because the truck still has plenty of coolant in it so i'm kind of hoping it's a stupid fix and not a whole engine rebuild or removal and put a new one in but even if that has to be the case i'm all right with that 
but it definitely needs some work here and there. Otherwise, I'm happy with it. What are your thoughts on it? Because you had no idea what I was picking up. No, no, I'm really surprised. I love the fact that it's a Ranger. Yes. Um, it has a place in both our hearts, of course. Um, since I drive a 2000 Ranger myself, uh, it, was a, it was a nice surprise to see in 1999 back there. Um, yeah, whenever I'm with uh, Mitch here, I, I always learn something new. It, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he does to it. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun project, and... Okay, I wasn't supposed to turn that green. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I know a lot of you guys who follow the channel have mentioned that you either had a Ranger or loved your Ranger, or you have a Ranger right now, and I thought it would be a cool project truck to have on the channel of a Ford Ranger because there's so many of them out there on the road, and, they, and if this one has a problem, there's probably a thousand other people out there with a Ranger that have the same issue. And this guy, so the, there's not a battery in it. He took the battery during negotiations. But I'm like, whatever, that's fine. I was going to put a new one in it. So the locks are getting sticky. He's like, oh, I can't work the locks without the battery in it. I'm like, I feel like you should be able to. But So we're probably going to be looking at that. And little stuff on the interior, like the bezel, everything. But it's just, I don't know, the old 90s and early 2000s Rangers have a certain smell to them. Yeah. Did, you, did you smell yes, that? Yes, I was thinking that too. It's like every uh, single one I've been in all smell yeah, like that, um, yeah. and I don't get it. And plus, just that classic look, you know, you get in the inside, classic old radio, uh, air conditioning, all that. Yeah, it's just, like, yeah, this all looks familiar. Yeah, it's functional. <laughs> it's like no Bluetooth, all that, like, as I'm driving a two, 2013 F-150, it's like, I love the simplicity of that truck. And the guy put brand new tires on it. They're Michelins. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, so, and he said they're newer brakes. I'm like, whatever. He drove it all the way up from North Carolina, the engine did whatever he says it tries to crank but i don't know so we're going to be tearing into it apparently it doesn't have any oil in it which is kind of a good thing kind of a bad thing but we'll see so we're gonna get home and probably do i'll probably do the outro tomorrow talking just finishing it up showing you guys around the truck so i'll catch you guys in the morning because it's going to be nighttime by the time we get home and unload this thing so see you then so where are we right now little town in indiana Summer in Indiana, yeah. Wow. Ah, that's nice. Can you believe it still? No, it's so uh, weird to have another ranger in my life. <laughs> oh shit, what did I just do? Oh, uh, the screen just turns off after a while. Oh, it does? Okay, yeah. so that's natural. Otherwise, okay. it's still recording. Gotcha. Anyways, here's a drink. Thank you, sir. Which one? This one? Yeah, the root beer. Oh. I'll be I'll be cold, man. Ah, uh, you're cute. I was like, why is my name <laughs> on here? I have my... Ah, uh, this is cute. I like it. So what do you say? Of course, man. Sweet, thank you. Why wouldn't I be your <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I told you we had to... I told you it wasn't official yet. <laughs> so is it official now? Yeah, yeah, because it came with the uh, bottle. <laughs> oh, nice. That's awesome. Thanks, <laughs> For sure. Okay, turning off right now. Well, here he is. It's a 1999 Ford Ranger, like I mentioned. It's the next day we were able to get it off the trailer and uh, put it in the driveway. We have to use the razor to pull it off the drive or off the trailer, which kind of sketch, but not too bad. But exterior-wise, this truck is actually from North Carolina, and it's got sun fade all over it. I probably need maybe a coat of paint and clear coat on the hood, on the roof. It's got a big old crack in the windshield. Front bumper's a little dinged up, but nothing major. Dude put like brand new tires on it. And the best part, anybody who has ever owned a Ranger knows these rot out like crazy. This isn't even that bad for a Ranger. Like, yeah, it's a little rusty. You can't even like see it. Sorry, the lighting is very poor here, but it's not rotted out. Like underneath here, that is that is clean that's cleaner than my f-150 even the wheel wells 
like all of this it is solid pretty sure the tailgate's even pretty solid back here yeah like that that is nothing for these trucks my 07 ranger was worse than that granted yeah it's a little rusty here underneath the drop-in bed liner and i don't like drop-in bed liners however this might just stay for the time being however the inside of the truck is very dirty like filthy wise but it's actually pretty clean this dude was actually a smoker unfortunately however the inside of this truck doesn't smell like a smoker and i think it has to deal with all the air fresheners he kept in here but the bezel's kind of busted here it has 232,000 miles basically but it's a ranger everything functions this thing actually stays up comes with free napkins so yeah like i said it's dirty but it has the owner's manual me and my buddy were sitting in here last night just going over everything i'm like dude you have a ranger i have a ranger and we're acting like this is new to us like we've never been in a ford ranger before but it's just he also gave me an extra one of these with lower mileage but i'm like no i'm probably not going to put that in I'm just going to leave the mileage that's on here for the engine, but it's uh, it's going to be a fun project for sure. I don't know if I'm going to work on it today or not, but main thing is oil came flying out of the dipstick, he said. Like it was just blowing oil out of the dipstick and he says it might need a head gasket, but it also might be the PCV valve or something with the crankcase pressure. So hopefully it's not the engine itself. But if it is, I'm already prepared to replace the engine. Like, I'm going to track down a block and stuff like that. But if you guys want to stay tuned for this project and see what's wrong with it, what we got to do to fix it. And there's little things like the locks don't work with just a key. He says it's five, fob only, but I need to get a battery for it. Uh, this window is not all the way up. It's like a little bit down interior needs a little fixing we're going to do a full detail possibly paint it clear or clear coat it whichever one so i don't know it's going to be a fun little project for a channel if you guys want to stay tuned be sure to hit that subscribe button to watch what has to happen with this truck because he says he has a new radiator in it he also put in a new water pump so who knows we got to track down what's wrong with it there's currently no oil in it he said it just blows it all out of the dipstick tube and yeah next video on this guy is going to be trying to track down what exactly is wrong with it we're going to put a bore scope into cylinder walls try and see what's happening if we can't see anything so be sure to stay tuned hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a dislike but let me know what i can move on for next video and as always be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already i greatly appreciate it and probably by the time this video has come out i've reached 4,000 subscribers i appreciate that very much so thank you everyone who has subscribed to the channel i greatly appreciate it without you guys i probably would not have ever thought about buying a, another ford ranger especially a project truck for youtube so it's kind of weird to say i bought a truck for youtube but i don't know anyways i will catch you guys later bye just seemed like a typical nice guy and from the carolinas and he, oh, was, yeah. he wasn't trying to uh he wasn't trying to screw you over looking for price or anything like that um yeah i just you know he's he's kind kind of guy where we were talking to him for quite a good hour or so was it that long in the end oh yeah, jesus like 45 minutes to an hour okay yeah. so by the time we like got there got negotiated checked it over left yeah, it was probably like an hour. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 5.30 and we got there just a little bit before like 4.30 or so. Uh, plus the fact that well, what they do, he said, you know, I'm just going to mark this as pending if he's driving all the way from, quote, quote, Illinois. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it took me like three hours to get out here, but I, I, I try to warn people like, hey, I'm kind of driving a little ways away. So if you're going to sell it, let me know now or if you have somebody else. But this guy's like, hey, I know you're coming from Illinois. I marked it as pending. Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. <laughs> Which he, he said he used to live in Illinois. Yeah, that was right. the best part. He's no. like, oh, I used to live there for like 16 years, Illinois. Like, whatever. It's like people who call it the, the jewel or the jewel. 
Yabels, or as I like to say, Yabel. 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 Yabel? Polish people eat say Yabel. Yabel. Because the W is a V in the, in the Polish language. I never heard it. And J is pronounced like Ya. So yeah. like Yabel. I'm going to the Yabel, you need anything? It's like, the, what is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. That man has a light bar in his truck. Like a Weeboo light bar. So, subscribers, what do you what do you call Jewel? Is it the Jewels? Joel Osco? Yeah. Uh, Especially well, if you live in the Chicagoland yeah. area. I, I got a I got some subscribers who are in Illinois, so they'll they'll get that. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was the other one you said? Yeah, Yabel. 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 Okay. That's for them Polish folks that are watching. <laughs> oh God. Well, you know. Uh, I mean, he, he, he was stereotypical in a nice way, where a man just comes out in overall, overalls. Oh, yeah, he uh, was wearing overalls. A box, of, a box of cigarettes. Yeah, just, again, just southern hospitality, southern nice man. Yeah. yeah. No, he's, he was a good guy. Like, thankfully, we just pushed it out. It's nice that these trucks are so light. <laughs> I just had a thought. Remember the King of the Hill episode? Yeah, yeah. When uh, his ranger died? Mm -hmm. He's, like, trying to push out the train tracks. He's like... Yep, just just what I thought. Two, uh, what was it like? Two uh, strongly yeah, built, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like too sturdily built. <laughs> like that's America for you. Yeah, yeah. Ah man, that episode really get the feels. Oh, you do like especially when you like feel like a vehicle's part of the family. What year was uh, his Ranger? Uh, that one was like an '80s Ranger because it was the square nose. Okay. So it was like a late 80s, early 90s Ranger. But there were some episodes where his Ranger was bullnosed like this one, but it had the grill from uh, your dad's 97 Ranger. Okay, okay. So it was, but then it would like go back to square nose, but then he ended up, after that episode, he got the Super Duty. He had like a 2000 uh, Super, like a 99 or 2000 uh, Super Duty. Who knows? The transmission might give out once I get it running, and then I'm just gonna manual man no, swap man, it. I'm so. saying don't for that, oh, man. No, but it, it, it'll just be like, all right, we're gonna manual swap a ranger, put a hole in the floor, and put a stick in. <laughs> like done and done. <laughs>